Hi friends, welcome to this session. My name is Yogesh. In this session, we are going to discuss on AWS EC2 instance states. And we will be using AWS CLI to perform these operations. Friends, as a system admin or DevOps engineer, it is worthy to know what are the possible instance states, how you can uh, shuffle between these states. So I have uh, made a quick reference here. If you want to check console output of your EC2 instance, you can run the command listed in step number one. If your instance is stopped or in stopped state and you want to power it up, use command listed in step number two. If your instance is running and you want to power it off or stop it, use command documented in uh, step number three. If you want to terminate or decommission your instance, simply follow command on step number four. If you want to check what is the current state of your instance, that's very easy. Use command listed on step number five. And friends, I have listed uh, the possible instance state. Zero mean pending, 60 mean instance is running, 32 mean instance is shutting down. 48 mean your instance is terminated or decommissioned. 64 mean your instance is stopping. And uh, 80 mean it's already stopped. So let's begin with technical session, friends. I can show you about uh, these states. Okay, on my screen, uh, I'm on my AWS management server. I got AWS CLI installed and I got uh, access key id and access key is configured for a user who can manage all ec2 instances so first thing friends let me list out what are the instances here and what are the state now in my account i got two instances this is the first one this is the second both instances are in stop state so first let's check console of instance here, if you see, uh, after this particular command to get console output, I'm using set, set mean a stream editor, uh, because the output uh, is not uh, user friendly. Using stream editor, I can uh, easily read it or you can easily read it. Pressing enter here. If you see, uh, this is a console output. I'm on last bit. My instance is in power down state. So that's sometime helpful uh, if you want to check what is going on on the console if you're getting some errors so let's start our first instance friends let me grab instance id again i'm running this command again to grab the instance id to start it friends aws ec2 start instances followed by dash dash instance ids if you notice it's instance ids it means uh, you can do more than one servers you can manage more than one instance here i'm powering on this instance number two with instance id pressing enter and let's check state of this instance so i'm running command if you see here instance id is this one this is the current state zero mean pending it means server is not came up yet this is the previous state which is state code 80 and name stopped earlier this was the server was in stop state here i'm putting instance id and i'm querying the particular data which is instance state and uh, i can use output in tabular or yeah it's good to display output in table format in this case you see instance is running now so so friends, uh, this is the way to power on the instance. Let me show you with uh, this command in tabular format. If you see this instance is running. So let's power off this instance now. To power off friends, uh, that's again very easy. AWS EC2 stop instances. Then instance ID, this particular instance ID which we want to stop. Okay, so let's quickly check the state of this instance now. It is getting stopping here, if you can see. Still uh, 64 is the state. Let's do it again. 
it's still getting stopped so i believe it will take a couple of seconds why because uh, it shuts down the operating system first okay we will wait for a couple of seconds okay so current state is stopped it means instance is stopped so friends uh, if you have to terminate uh, your instance terminate mean uh, decommissioning so uh, you have to verify all the things whether instance or application is shut down instances down you already verified with the system owners that you can decommission the servers or they go if they go to liberty if they go to ec2 access to terminate by themselves they can uh, run simple this command aws ec2 terminate instances followed by dash dash instance dash ids then instance id okay friends i want to show you one more interesting thing you can use dry run what dry run mean it will not execute the command but it will check whether your current user like on this server i'm using the access keys which i created for my local user not uh, the admin account or the main account so whether i can run this command or not so you can use dry run it will not run this command but it will check whether my user is authorized to run this command or not so see it is saying an error occurred dry run operation when calling termination instance operation request would have succeed succeed but dry run flag is set it mean i am authorized to run this command can be run so here i'm removing this parameter i'm going to terminate this instance okay so if you see the current state is 48 which is terminated so this instance is terminated friends just it go decommissioned and this was the previous state and uh, if you want to check on uh, this particular command output i can show you here if you see terminated and automatically this instance will disappear from uh, this particular instance list after a couple of uh, the couple of hours i believe when amazon will uh, do cleanup so that's a way to manage states how you can so what we discussed how you can check what is on console of your instance if your instance is in stop state how you can power it on how you can power it off how you can terminate or decommission it so thanks for watching this video friends if you have any query or suggestion just leave a comment on my youtube channel stay tuned i will be posting more videos on uh, aws offerings thanks a lot friends